What is up, brothers and sisters? What is good, kings and queens? Welcome to, or welcome back to, the Mommy and the Royals channel, where I'm your host, Tyler Renee, and this is part two of February's This Month in Black History, where we'll be discussing Alex Haley, the 15th Amendment, as well as, well as the founding of the NAACP. Let's get on it. We begin this video on February 10th, 1992, with the passing of Alex Haley. The author, writer, and icon is best known for his book and miniseries, Roots, the Saga of an American Family. Haley was born in New York on August 10th. And at 15, Haley was enrolled at Alcorn State University, a historically black college. At 18, he enlisted in the U.S. Coast Guard and began his 28-year career. After retiring from the Coast Guard, he started a career in journalism. From being the senior editor of Reader's Digest to conducting interviews for Playboy. Haley interviewed Martin Luther King Jr. for Playboy magazine, and that became the longest granted interview ever to any publication. In 1975, Haley published his first book, Autobiography of Malcolm X which describes Malcolm X's life from being a street criminal to becoming the spokesperson for the Nation of, of Islam. In 1976, Haley published Roots, which was later published in 37 languages and won a Pulitzer Prize in 1977. In the 80s, Haley worked with Disney to develop an aquatic African pavilion for Epcot Center. Haley reached a form a few miles from the Museum of Alopecia and died on August 10th from a heart attack. His property was later sold to the Children's Defense Fund. Next up, we have February 12th, 1909 in New York, New York, the NAACP was founded. A civil rights organization in the U.S. and which is an interracial endeavor to advance the to advance the justice systems for African Americans. W. E. B. Du Bois, Mary White, Ogilvy, and Ida B. Wells, to name a few, were the leaders of this movement. In the decades around the first turn of the century, lynchings of black of blacks were at all time high. The individuals mentioned above decided that enough was enough and they sent out solicitations to over 60 prominent Americans. The first meeting was on this day, February 12th, 1909, which coincided with the 100th anniversary of the birth of President Abraham Lincoln. In its early years, they focused on overturning the disfranchisement of the black people. In 1913, they opposed Woodrow Wilson's introduction to racial segregation, and by 1914, the group had over 6,000 members and over 50 branches. They're currently leading fights from police brutality to COVID-19 to voters segregation. To, to voters, they have been around 113 years long. Last but not least, we have the 15th Amendment, which was passed on this day, February 26th, 1869, and was later ratified on February 3rd, 1876. This amendment granted black men the right to vote. Though this was a huge step, we just cannot be great. And, through, and from 1890 to 1910, many states were making laws to get around this, which resulted in disenfranchisement of black people by poll taxes and literary tests. Though the Voters' Rights Act came in 1965, which supposedly abolished all of this disenfranchisement, we still fight till this day for our voices to be heard. Which is why I make these videos, you guys. Do not forget where we came from. Do not forget how little we still are given. Do not forget how far we have to go. Thank you. For watching this video, please be sure to share, like, comment, and subscribe. With that being said, y'all, peace, love, and positive vibes, y'all.
Deuces.